What is the relationship between variable practice and schema theory? Well, first of all, we need to know what a schema is. Typically, a schema in motor learning is a relationship between two parameters, in this case, force and distance. For example, if you kick a soccer ball with this much force, it would go that distance. And if you kick it with this much force, it goes that distance. And if you kick it with that much force, that distance, that much force, that distance, that much force, that distance. And there is some sort of relationship present. And we call this the schema. So the schema is the relationship between a variable parameter, such as force, although it could be other things, such as time, and an output parameter, such as distance. Now, it should be obvious that under a variable practice schedule, you develop a better schema than under a constant practice schedule. For instance, on a constant practice schedule, you might only develop this relationship, and then when you have to apply a novel force to go a different distance, you have trouble doing so. However, with a well-developed schema, this is easy to do. Now, there's some interesting research on this. There is one study that shows that basketball players that shoot from just inside the three-point line tend to not shoot the ball very well. And that's because in modern basketball, since the advent of the three-point line, people have been taught to not shoot just inside. You should always step back to make sure you're behind the line. And there's actually a dip in shooting percentages when you get closer to the basket, which isn't very intuitive. Anyway, the idea here is simple. Variable practice develops a better schema, which means you're better able to perform a sports skill in a variety of contexts.